Minutes may mean the difference between life and death. In a trauma emergency, Tacoma and Pierce County residents now have those minutes, thanks to specialized care with the Tacoma Trauma Trust. Well, Trauma Trust is a organization that was um, put together really at a time when the Tacoma area had no formal coverage for the trauma patients. The Trauma Trust launched in 2000 and continues serving our community with a unique triad of civilian and military medical centers. The Trust was put together by three separate hospitals, Tacoma General Hospital, St. Joseph's Hospital, and Madigan Army Medical Center. Madigan had sort of covered the area at the time when we had no formal coverage and unfortunately they didn't have the resources alone to always care for the patients so a fair number of um, people from the community would be sent outside of the community for their treatment. The Trauma Trust provides level two care. This certification provides specialized care for multiple treatments of critical injuries. Madigan certification is on par with Multicare Tacoma General Hospital and St. Joseph Medical Center. So if a civilian is injured on the outside and basically the downtown hospital is on divert or they're busy um, or the, the patient is injured and he's cl we're closer and he's, the patient's seriously injured, they'll bring him here to Madigan. What makes our program unique is not only our partnership with Madigan, but also the fact that we have a single pool of providers that provide the trauma care for patients. Having three trauma level two facilities means care is nearby. We share that trauma uh, responsibility with uh, Tacoma General in St. Joe. Um, and so we take care of one third of the trauma in the city. So I would say that's how we provide a service to the community and that we take care of civilians as well as military. Madigan makes no distinction between civilian and military patients. Put this mask up, you read, okay? Trauma is trauma. Uh, when it happens, uh, here on post or it happens off post, uh, we treat the patients the same uh, and we treat their injuries the same. I, I find that the civilians that come in, they're not expecting to be treated as, as well as they are. Um, they're, they're not aware of the same medical facilities and um, things that are available to them through the military as they would be out in the civilian hospitals. Madigan Trauma Services ensure equipment and staff are at the same level as Tacoma General and St. Joseph. You probably couldn't tell the difference between the military and civilian medical centers unless someone was wearing a uniform. Absolutely no difference. It's actually the same, you know, type thing. Uh, I think the care here is, you know, uh, like I said, very comparable to downtown. We have a trauma team just like they do. You know, we uh, call the trauma team in when a patient's seriously injured. So, and we network very, very well. Madigan Trauma Teams focus on training. The latest in technologies are used to provide this training. A lot actually goes into putting a trauma team together. A lot of it is preparation before the trauma comes in. Uh, we have specific things we look for in trauma. We have surgeons, we have emergency medicine, we have respiratory therapists and nurse. Um, lots of people it takes to take care of patients. We also have uh, various other nurses and medics doing giving medications, blood products, and recording all of that goes on during a trauma. The Madigan Trauma Team knows their responsibility in the Trauma Trust is to be ready for whatever comes through their doors. Part of this readiness includes the use of Army chaplains. It's a team effort, you know, the, the nurses and doctors are doing all the work. We're here to assist them, and all chaplains know that we're, we're here to help you any way we can. Blood right up required. Trauma is a chaotic time. Lots of energy with plenty of people in the same room. As with other Trauma Trust partners, Madigan practices solid and clear communication throughout trauma treatment. If you're in a healthcare setting, if you're a healthcare professional, you know the importance of effective communication when that patient is entrusted into your care. Trauma team members know the chances of a patient's survival increase dramatically if a patient can be stabilized in the first 60 minutes of an injury. They call this the golden hour. But without a trauma center here, we would expect to see at least three lives lost for every hundred trauma patients. Can someone listen real quick, please? And what ranks as the primary trauma injury in the city of Tacoma and in Pierce County? Our number one mechanism of injury is falls. And believe it or not, that's all ages. We also see motor vehicle accidents, which is our number two, and that would be a lot of our civilians. We used to see a lot of gunshot wounds and stab wounds, but that sort of has calmed down, and I think that's Pierce County wide. Everybody brings unique background and skill sets to every job. With Madigan's trauma team, their blend of civilian and military doctors, nurses, and technicians sometimes blur on who is from which sector. I'm in the National Guard in Washington State, so I'm uh, an x-ray tech in the Guard also, 
and I work here as a civilian. A lot of times when these uh, trauma patients start waking up and they see all the uniforms and they're looking around and they're thinking, my goodness, what am I doing in a military facility? So sometimes it's a little bit of a shock to them. From Joint Base lewis McCord to downtown Tacoma, the three partners each complement the other. One common thread shared by all is the uncertainty of when a trauma event will occur and where. Being able to interact with the community allows us to uh, more exposure to trauma, more interaction with the community that we serve uh, as, as soldiers. Mm -hmm.